Hello, sir. My brother. Very good pencils. Hello, you got a coca zip? Yeah. Okay, so you need a little pencils. You can do charity, you can buy you support education of a child. A friend of mine used to sell apples in town. Mm. And he did that for over around seven years. But I came to learn later mm. that he was a government spy. Mm. Will there be any chance that you are? <laughs> now that you've been in this particular business for the last 17 years. A government spy? Yeah. No. Uh -huh. Just forget about even government spy. That is better. People feel I sell drugs. And you know, I would wonder where they are. Why do you choose to dress this way, to come to town and hope? I can't say that I've chosen this mm -hmm. to come and hope mm -hmm. because this is what I am since my childhood. Mm -hmm. Even the high school I'm telling you I went to in Busia, the Sigalame, mm -hmm. was the alliance of Busia those days. Mm -hmm. You know, even the seniors when I was going to Form 1, there are senior guys in this town. Like, for example, even Musando was my, this Musando of IBC, we were in the same school. Mm -hmm. It, this is a school that produced people and you know like role models they were people clean you know it was not just a, a harambe school mm -hmm. and even from at home mm -hmm. there are so many factors that has that, that have shaped me this way mm -hmm. so I, I i wouldn't say that i look like this because of hockey mm -hmm. this is what i am for my childhood exactly yeah. so you're changing the lives of students Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're giving them good pencils. We're making sure that no, no child go, goes to the school without a pencil, you know, because parents are busy and they forget. Sometimes you come to town here, you're supposed to buy something, and you forget because of the, the, the busy schedule. Mm -hmm. When you see traffic jam, yes. would I be wrong to say you become happy immediately? Yeah, that is like uh, when you see a market day very busy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, it's like an end man. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to try yes. and uh, sell this with you okay. today. You yes. are welcome. Am I, am I likely to make a sale? I don't know. I don't <laughs> know about your capacity. Okay. You can try. Let's try and see. Okay. Yes. Promote to Vijana. Yeah. 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 Excuse me, sir. Pencils. Ziko na raba na pencil. Kwezi jaribi ya mtoto ba. I have tried selling this particular box of pencil for the last one hour or so and I've not sold even a single pencil despite the fact that I'm in a good suit just like Edgar who has done this for the last 17 years. Clearly there must be something special about him because he's been here come rain come sunshine. If you don't mind yeah. how do you approach a customer? It's not, it's not rocket science. Me, I just <laughs> arrived to a customer, depending with how you are. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. I look at you, I see you the way you are. Mm -hmm. You know, people are not the same. Yeah. Sometimes I surprise people by calling their names if I happen to know your name. Okay. And maybe you, know, you don't know how I go to know no, your name. name. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised, you'll get shocked. And so, so I helps mm -hmm. making us mm -hmm. Um, Otieno Edgar. Mm -hmm. I have some HD pencils I'm oh. selling. Please have a look at them and pick a pack from me, buy a pack from me. Okay. So how much does this one go for? They are such a very good pencils. Uh -huh. 12 pencils plus rubber and the sharpener, uh -huh. costing 199. 199? Yes. Why not 200? 200. Yeah. No, actually that is the price. I can't send the price. That is the price that is we are given from the company. Okay. Yeah, it's 199. But if you feel, approximately it's 200 years. If you approximate. <laughs> approximately, it's <Yes>. 200. <laughs> Do you ever return that shilling? 
Yeah, it's your right. Your change is right. But if you want to forfeit, mm -hmm. that is upon you. It's upon me. Yes. <laughs> I joined DS Max, started in selling in 2001 up to 2007. Mm -hmm. That is when uh, I left, joined Backless Bank of Kenya as a DST. DST was a direct sales team. Mm -hmm. Also doing sales of loans and accounts. Mm -hmm. I did it in 2007 up to 2008, mm -hmm. then left. Mm -hmm. Went back to my staff again. Uh -huh. you know. How do you find yourself in the streets and why did you opt to move from this uh, job as a DSM in Barclays Bank and go back to the street? Barclays was, yes, a, a corporate mm -hmm. job, yes, but the, the package wasn't good. Whatever they were paying the salespeople, the retainer was very small. Mm -hmm. How much was it, if you don't mind? They were, they were paying 12,000. Well, after deduction, it was coming to around 9,000. Mm -hmm. And then commission, of which just getting commission was not, was not that easy. Mm -hmm. So you would end up taking home 9,000 mm -hmm. a month, of which was not sustainable. Okay. So in fact, I was, by that time I was living in Comoro, I remember my my rent was uh, 10,000 by that time. Mm -hmm. I was being forced to pay my house rent from pencils. So I was working up to 4.30, then close up the job and go on the streets to sell pencils. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would bump into my, my, my managers on the streets trying to also to sell to them. So it became a challenge for me. I decided to quit. How much, let's say, when you're in the streets, how much do you make per day? With a pencil, I normally make sure that at least the net is 1,000. After the fair and lunch and everything, mm -hmm. if I'm, I have 1,000, it's good enough. It's good enough. It's good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, irrespective of the hours I've worked, I can even come up to around, I can even work three hours and I'm getting at least 1,000. If I make less than that, I'm not comfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are there days you make less than that? <laughs> No, 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 they are not many. They are not many. In a year, they are not many. In a year? <laughs> they are not many. We are to well wish us to anybody, any donor or somebody, if there is any, just because I've been unable to raise enough capital to come out with a, a big stationary shop, mm -hmm. I would welcome them to do something mm -hmm. yeah so that one time maybe i can expand and become a seal honey mm -hmm. yeah savannis mm -hmm. asai or whatever exactly yes and remain a stationer uh -huh. it's also not bad idea mm. yeah thank you